Hey everyone, the objectives of this video are to define intensive and extensive properties. To give examples of extensive and intensive properties in thermodynamics. And finally, to learn how to convert between the two. So we begin with uh, defining what exactly a thermodynamic property is. Thermodynamic properties are macroscopic characteristics of a thermodynamic system. So essentially, um, if we look at a system and we look at it thermodynamically, we have there are certain characteristics that it will possess, and these are what we call properties. So the first type of property that we'll be looking at is what we call intensive properties. Intensive properties are physical quantities that do not depend on the amount of substance for which it is measured. And likewise, and for extensive properties, due to the fact that it is an antonym of the intensive properties, an extensive property is a physical quantity that does depend on the um, amount of substance for which it is measured. So uh, a good way to illustrate this is as follows. Let's say we have a beaker. And let's say that it is filled with or is filled to halfway with water. Let's say that the mass of the water inside there is equal to 8 kilograms. 